Alright, so say that you are in the same boat as me. You have a very specific use case. You have a Fitbit with a heart rate monitor and you want to display that on your uh, stream, your OBS, whatever. So first thing you need is, uh, is, is an old Samsung phone and you connect that to the USB uh, to computers, streaming computer. And now you need Samsung Flow for this to work. I don't know if Samsung Flow works on, on other Android devices than Samsung because uh, they basically say that, okay, you need, you need, a, you need a Samsung device, whatever. Um, but say the specific need, the specific use case that you have is that you have a Fitbit and you have an old Samsung phone in la lying around, you can use that to display your, 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 your heart rate. So you download the Samsung app on your phone and on your computer. Um, I know that if you have like a, a if you have like a pulse belt, you can use that with pulse light or whatever. But say you don't, say you have a Fitbit <laughs> for the third time. Um, so you download the app on your phone and on your computer. Now the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the the app on your computer. And then you, it says, okay, you need to verify this shit. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go down here on my, my trusty old Note, Note Edge, and we're gonna open up the Fitbit, no, the, the Samsung Flow app, and press OK. That's everything you need to do there. I don't think your phone is gonna time out when you do this, if you have it running. So you wanna open Smart View, and at this point you can just close this. And now you're connected to your phone. It's not my phone screen. Um, remember to set the resolution to high. And you can either full screen this like that. Or you can uh, just uh, scale it in the top and make sure they hit all the corners. There we go. Those top to bottom. Now this just needs to be on, on and below everything. Like all your Windows applications. And now you open up Fitbit. You open the Fitbit app. You let that gather your data. Heart rate is 75, so it's it's working. Now the reason you you uh, the reason why I say you need a you can use an old Samsung phone, but you you can't use a too old Samsung phone. Uh, before I used my my trusty Note 3, I think it is. Uh, I use this as my heart rate. Yeah, Galaxy Note 3. But this is too old. Uh, the Bluetooth is, I don't know, it's faulty in some way, so it won't, like, read accurate data. But my Note Edge, my no old Note Edge, does. So now I have that running. So what you want to do is you want to go into your OBS. So you're basically going to, you're going to screen cap this. That's why you need this. Uh, I don't know any other method than to screen capture your phone to get the heart rate from the Fitbit app. Again, you have pulse lights if you have a pulse belt, and then you're gonna, gonna go into game capture, and you're gonna set this to uh, capture specific window, Samsung Flow, uh, window title must match, and take off capture cursor. You just okay that. And your phone should now you know, wow, your phone should now uh, show up on your OBS. Now this is the first step, because at this point your your phone is captured. You're you're capturing your phone on OBS. So that's pretty cool if you want to do other things. Now to the next step. Already have this set up, so we're gonna jump into a new scene, my my, my main scene basically. It's gonna be very, very tiny, but it's okay. Um, so I have my heart right here, which is at the bottom over there. So it's very tiny; it doesn't need to be big. So you, when you have, uh, when you've added the game capture, like I have here, you go into filters, and this is basically where the magic happens. So you add, first of all, you add a crop filter, and then you crop out just this area this area you crop out this area right so if I uh, basically um, remove this 
you see the whole screen and now you see this just that area which is cool you don't need the heart because I don't know it doesn't really work the way it's supposed to be anyway so this are my settings 159 uh, 228 305 and 944 um, my resolution I'm not sure if this ties into your resolution but it might tie into your resolution so my resolution is I'm using a dynamic super resolution with an NVIDIA of 2351 by 1323 uh, native is 1080p but I need more real estate on my screen so yeah that's what I do all right so you add the crop thing and then you add a color correction filter just a simple color correction filter and what that does is that inverts the colors so white be becomes black and black becomes white these are those settings minus minus two uh, to one eight and minus two on the contrast uh, point 11 on brightness saturation all the way down and then hue shift at uh, almost 120 it probably can be 120 and that's all you need that to make it black and white uh, inverted and then you add a color key I've experimented with chroma keys but I figured I found out that the color key does the job the best so these are those settings similarity is one as uh, smoothness is thousand Capacity 100, contrast 1, minus 0.1, brightness, and minus 1 on gamma. That gives you the thingy. And then I've added another color, color filter, or color whatever, just to brighten up all those spots. I'm not sure if this actually looks better, because in my eyes that actually looks better for some reason, but I have added another color filter, color, uh, the uh, color correction thingy. All right, so these are those settings. Gamma, 0.2, minus 2.81, and all, all the sliders all the way down. And there you go, and now it'll show up like this. Well, that's very tiny. What happens if I remove this, uh, this bottom one? I mean, it doesn't really do that much of a difference. Okay, cool. And that's how you get your, your, your Fitbit to show up on your phone. Cool. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm, it's not 100% accurate. So if you have the ability to get like a Pulsoid, what is it called? Polar, Polar H10 or H7 and up, like a Bluetooth belt, you can use like the Pulsoid app. Polar, Polar H10. That's my upgrade. Uh, you can use that with the Pulsoid app. It works amazingly. A lot of big streamers are also using that. So, but if you do have a Fitbit and you have an old Samsung phone laying around, you can use this method. It's a very specific need, a very specific use case, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching.